Dear loving Heavenly Father, we come before your throne of grace this morning to bring you our heartfelt thanks for all that you do for us day by day. We give you thanks for every breath that you enable us to take, for the food on our tables, and for a warm and comfortable home to live in, and for our families and friends. But most of all, we thank you for Jesus, that he came and died for our sins, and that he rose from the dead to show us that death is not the end. Jesus has taken the sting out of death and given us victory over the grave. And now he is in heaven at your right hand, interceding on our behalf. Oh, hallowed be your wonderful name, Father. Now we come to present our request before you with thanksgiving. Each one of us has different needs, and we know that you know all our needs before we ask. But Jesus did teach us to ask you for our daily needs, our daily bread. We pray for those in our community who are sick and unwell at this time. Would you lay your healing hand upon them and raise them up to full health and strength? We pray also for those who are facing difficulties and hardships of various kinds. Lord, would you help them and strengthen them and give them wisdom? We pray for our Christian brothers and sisters in other parts of the world where it is illegal to be a Christian and those facing persecution and hardship. We think especially for those in Afghanistan and Iran and other such countries. Father, would you bless them and be with them? We think also of the many children, Lord, throughout the third world countries who are literally starving to death. Thousands of children, Lord, one might even say millions. We don't even have a cup of clean water to drink every day. We pray for the untold number of migrants who are fleeing their countries to escape war or violence or persecution or hunger, so desperate that they make perilous journeys across land and sea in dangerous conditions, just to find work and the opportunity to provide for their families. We have so much and they have so little. Let us not be guilty, Father, of turning a blind eye to their needs but rather would you show us how we can help them. Father, we bring our prayers to you in and through the wonderful name of Jesus and glorify your name, Father, through Jesus the Son. Amen.